Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you a pretty card I made using some new celebration items that are coming up in the celebration with Stamping Up. January, February, and March, for every $50 purchase you make, you are allowed to pick something out of the celebration brochure. Many pretty things in there. There are stamp sets, embellishments, designer series paper, an embossing folder, and some dies. So I'm going to be using the lovely lily pad, and that is actually kind of like a bundle in this celebration because for $50, you can get the lovely lily pad, and that's a beautiful stamp set, and I'm gonna show you what these little shaded areas are later on in the video. And if you order $50, you can get that for free, but for a $100 order, you can get the dies. So for $150, you can get the dies, or better yet, for $99, you can sign up to be a demonstrator. Look on my blog for more information on that. So we're gonna be using that lovely lily pad and the lily pad dies all those beautiful dies in there. And then the inside of our card, we're gonna be using a great sentiment set, sending you thoughts. You can get this for a $50 purchase. And so we're gonna be looking here at this other item that you can get for a $50 purchase. This is the beautiful Lily Pad, Lily Impressions Paper. Say that really fast, Lily Impressions Paper, designer series paper. You can see this bold, um, dark colors, rich colors with some uh, peaks of brightness through them with like the flirty flamingo and the highland heather. You can see some granny apple green coming through there. Look at this beautiful one here with the grapefruit grove and the pool party with just little pieces of blackberry bliss in there. Gorgeous paper. On the other side, you've got some great designs too. Some, just like some paint, can't. it looks like a, a canvas that they've painted across. I love this one with all the different colors in there. It almost like is the, what every color is in there. So that is a celebration item as well. So I'm gonna show you here, I made this card using the Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape, but we're gonna make a different card, same style, but with some different colors on this one. You can find all the information for the products I use, the measurements on my blog post, cindyleebdesigns.com under Lily Pad, lovely Lily Pad. And you also can see a link at the end of the description on my YouTube video. It'll take you straight to my blog there. And I also have that those, um, in, measurements and things on the YouTube description as well. So what we're gonna be doing is taking a piece of Pretty Peacock. I liked that that was the background in this color, but you could also see it in this paper here. So you could see it pulled out there. So I went with the Pretty Peacock. This is a half sheet of our cardstock, and it is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then you're gonna have a landscape. that opens from the bottom there. A two size fits in our envelopes, our beautiful envelopes. And so then we're just gonna be using an inside that's four, I mean five and a quarter by four, four by five and a quarter, and that'll be going on the inside. And I'm gonna show you a really neat technique to use with these reversible stamps. So as you can see with this paper here, I saw the pink of the flirty flamingo coming out there, but I also saw the lovely lipstick. So I decided that would be a pretty color combination to pop out there. Now let me show you a little trick I did on this. Now another um, great thing about using a piece of paper that's three by four is you get 12 of these rectangles out of one 12 by 12. Think about that, one sheet of that gorgeous paper you could make 12 cards out of. That is a great, great economical way. So anytime I can do a three by four measurement, it, and look how much paper you have on that front of that card. It's a considerable amount. So when you do the border around it, it's just gonna be four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you'll get six pieces of the border out of a piece of card stock. So that's a great measurement to remember. So what I did with this one is I knew I would be covering up the flirty flamingo with the paper. So of course, you know what I did. I went ahead and stamped my lilies on my flirty flamingo and then I got out the dies and I just rolled them out of there and I used this die to cut this lily out and then I used this die to get the kind of like the lily that hasn't opened yet so I was able to cut those out of 
the flirty flamingo and end up with ta-da there we go we've got our two lilies that we're going to put on that card but of course remember this one would have had both pieces taken out of it so then we would just be adhering that to the front of the card and so you know what i'm not going to actually do that yet because that would not be in the order of the events here. Now the next thing you can see on this card here is these beautiful little little lily lily, 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 lily pads. <laughs> these pretty lily pads. And I pulled out, as you can see in this designer paper, there's pool party, but there's also pool party like reflections in there. So what I did is I took a piece of pool party, and I think this was two and three quarters by five five and a half? Um yeah, by five and a half. So think about your paper. You've got two sections of five and a half on your cardstock, and you've got three, two and three quarters going across the eight and a half inch side. So I was able to get one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three times two, I get six sheets of that out of a cardstock paper. So now I just went and I die cut this beautiful little accent piece here with this die that's in the set right here. This is an amazing, amazing bundle here. So I cut that out and then I just cut out my two lily pads. So we've got our two lily pads here. So we've got two lily pads. We've got this decorative piece here. We're almost done. I wanted to add in that you can die, die cut this pretty like outline that has the holes in it like I always call them like a lacy die and I just die cut this out of vellum and I just popped it right behind the big lily just to give it a little more texture and flair so that's another neat thing you can do with that one it also die cuts let me here I can show you it also has a die cut that cuts out these pretty borders here too that you can see through like see if you wanted to put this onto your onto the Lily, just to jazz it up here, so you've got, you can cut these out too. So those are really cool. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna go against my better judgment, and I'm gonna go ahead and waste this here. Oh my. So what we're gonna do is get our snail, and we're gonna put the designer paper onto our card here, onto this border. And the nice thing about this paper, it has so many colors in it. You could put, a diff I mean, if you wanted to use the granny apple green around here, but I kind of liked being able to use the pink and use that paper wisely there. So the next thing I did was I put my lily pads on. So then I just put some adhesive under my lily pad and I popped that down in the lower left-hand corner. And then I did the same thing with, my smaller lily pad. So let's just pop that one right there. And you notice that you're still seeing so much of the designer paper, even though you're filling it up there. Now I took and put the little, 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 little lily right on the little lily pad. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this bigger lily, but I'm gonna put them down towards the bottom so that I have room to slide in my vellum piece of lily that I die cut. So we're gonna pop that out there and we're gonna put that lily. And because this lily is going, well, it looks like I have a little piece of dimensional showing there. Fold that back a little bit. There we go. Since it is going to be popped up, if it comes off, if it goes over the little little lily a little bit, that's okay, because you've got. Now the next thing we're gonna do is put that vellum. And what I did with the vellum is I just put the adhesive, I pulled out my, here it is, it's under here. I just pulled out my, put, put some of my adhesive on there and used my silicone mat because then it didn't stick my paper and then you can even if it's some pieces are hanging off there it's going to be tucked behind here and just be peeking up so you won't even notice it's there and now if you'd like to put a dimensional underneath the top of your lily it won't be in the way of anything so I just stick it back there peel off the backing 
I don't think I got it. Peel off the backing. And then you've got that lily popped up on there. And then, then I put it on here and I thought there was something missing. So that's when I pulled out this gorgeous little die here. And boy, was it easy to die cut as well. It just popped right out of there. So I just went ahead and put my adhesive on the bottom of my panel that's going on the front. It was so much easier that way. Then I could just line up and isn't that cool that that die is four inches across. So it makes a perfect, perfect, perfect border. When you're doing, say you were doing the card this way, it would go right across. It's four and a quarter, that is. So you could do your, you could have, ooh, I kind of like, ooh, ooh, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do that. I like that. Yes, that's what I'm doing on this card. I'm changing it up midstream. Oh gosh. I think I really, really like that that way. Never even thought. I spent so much time fussing with getting it straight. On the other hand, I didn't know how pretty that would look. Oh gosh. Ha! Right there. Right as we're working. So there, we got a whole different design. I do like this landscape but I ended up changing it up there. Okay, so what we're gonna, I'm gonna show you now is these reversible stamps. Now, since we're going to be doing our card now, instead of it being landscape, we're gonna make it portrait, I use another stamp set called Sending You Thoughts. This is also a celebration item. For $50, you can get this for free. And it has some great little sentiments in here, and I wanted to make this a happy birthday card, and then I used these two sentiments together on the inside. When I made this card, it just turned out that I just didn't want to mess up the beauty of the picture that you get when you look at the card. So putting the sentiment on the front, just was it just wasn't working for me, so I decided to do it all in the middle. So what we're gonna do is use Pretty Peacock. Where's my Pretty Peacock? Here it is. So I'm going to use Pretty Peacock and I am going to ink it up. Got good coverage there. I'm going to line up on my grid paper my white and I am going to stamp right in the middle. So I've got my sentiment in there. Now I wanna show you how these stamps here, okay? This stamp is called a reversible stamp, okay? We had a couple of those in the other catalog, but what that means is you can take a stamp, okay? And you can turn it over. These stamps are cut without an edge on them. So if you turn it over this way where it's flat, we can take, and since I did the inside, of this card, I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to stamp on what would normally be the back of our stamp, okay? So that's why those little, let me grab that, that's why these little shadows are showing, okay? You can just go ahead and stamp that Flirty Flamingo, I'm calling it like a shadow, and then you have that shadow there. Now you can Clean off your stamp, turn it over, and you can do that with this all of the all of these stamps. You can do it with this flower, this flower, the, the leaves, the lily pads. Anywhere you see that shadow, you can turn it over. So what I wanted to do is I used the flirty flamingo because look, I'm matching it up here. I'm going to take the lovely lipstick, and now I'm going to ink up the lined image that's on the opposite side. And then I am going to do this very carefully. Might not be perfect because I'm at a different angle when I'm stamping, but then you just stamp it right in there. I probably could have moved it over a little bit, but with the angle of the camera, it's a little hard to do that. But there we go. You can do that with all of these different stamps. So this, this is a really great, um, what a lineup. Everything on this paper was celebration. From the lily pads to the dies to the designer series paper to the inside sediment. And boy was I glad that I turned that paper that way. 
actually I usually do it this way when I'm doing this one because I want the top and the bottom to match. And there we go. So on this card, you can either make it a landscape or you can make it a portrait. Oh boy, I love that. I think now this one I did pop it up to show it a little bit of dimension here because of the landscape one, but you don't even need to pop it up on this one. So we shall see. So there are two different designs using the same measurements and using all those pretty uh, papers and stamps and dies from the celebration lineup. So make sure you check it out January 3rd, the new mini catalogs coming out along with the great celebration that we have during January, February, and March. If you have any questions, please go to my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. You'll find everything you need to make this card. If you would like to call me or text me at 724-323-2296, I'd love to talk with you or get a happy mail showing a picture of a card you made uh, using this design or this, these techniques. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.